Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign or in the middle of a campaign in Old World Blues in which we're playing the A to Z series and now we're playing as the Claim Jumpers. So it's uh, 2277, almost 2288. We are, or at least we have a kind of a gang, a raider gang uh, focus tree. So we've done quite a few focuses. Um, I did get a comment in one of my past A to Z series asking why I don't read all the focus focuses. It's because I've read them before and I don't want to like bore you with the same focuses again and again, but we're using a special sub-mod for Old World Blues in this campaign that is called Old World Blues Tech Expanded, or Tech Plus, or something like that, in which we have a couple of unique things. I mean, we have, oh, wait, I didn't realize this. Portable radios. Advanced sciences. Ooh, that's different. Um, in the meantime, uh, we've got all that stuff. We have, like, civilized tech. It tries to make us more civilized, if we are a civilized nation, in which we are. So we get a lot of extra little benefits here. Um, with this tech expansion, which I think is really cool. We lose some stability for this one, but you know what? In the end, that's okay. You can always get more stability. So there's a lot of things here that try to make it more um, interesting, I guess you could say, just by giving us more options to research things. There's a few other things as well throughout the rest of the tree. Uh, this stuff is all unique from this submod that I've installed. So I, whoever made the submod, and if you're watching, thank you. I saw this on the uh, subreddit. Um, for overall blues saying like what are some good mods to use and I figured you know what we'll take a look see as what we're doing but we're playing as the claim jumpers we're in Colorado who is a good one core creation cost would be nice um, I've already done quite a few of these uh, further down because this actually gives you quite a bit to research which is kind of nice because at the end of each campaign in this eight, especially this A to Z series I run out of things to research more soft attack more, more max training more daily army XP game more weekly manpower it's only plus two but that's okay more organization uh, demons get more heart attack or yeah, damage so overall I'm liking what I see here. I'm liking a lot, this a whole bunch. So, double teams even more organization. Nice. And as the claim jumpers, we do have a unique uh, thing here. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, leader experience game is not bad. We do have a unique uh, national spear. I should really say. I'm slowly going. Wow, plus 10% more attack is pretty nice. Slowly going to show you everything that we have here. Naval stuff. There's not really much you want to do with the naval stuff. I mean, it's not super important. Navy and overall blues has really been neglected, but whatever. We have uh, social development with urbanization, urban planning, bureaucracy, which I've already done as you can see, good relations, trade deals, political power, resistance growth goes down, which would be very nice, especially for nations such as ours, who have a generic focus tree that gets really penalized if you don't have enough manpower, which is a lot of nations in overall blues. We get daily heart air XP, that's pretty nice. More caps, that's nice. Um, we also have this one, vigorous invasion speed. So, chance to get more HP is always good too. Uh, medical support units. So this one actually gives you plus more def more defense and reliability, which I kind of like. We got more research speed. We have democracy, even though we're not a democracy, we're ruled by an elite group. Um, research speed. Just five verbal sums on us. Initiative. Uh, so overall, I think I really like this. And from here on out, if I remember, I'm going to include this in most of my campaigns, especially for old world blues like A to Z series with nations that don't have very much in terms of technology. A lot of stuff is still the same, don't get me wrong. But especially with the support stuff, there's a level 1 support equipment, but there's level 2 down here, and they add in a couple more things throughout the tree. So it gives you more, more stuff to research, more bonuses you can get, and they split this down into 2, so you get more HP and or uh, more to trickle back and stuff like that, so I think I like this a lot, actually. It makes it more unique when you really research something. Because usually there's only one line throughout all this stuff, but all this extra stuff feels like it's more powerful. Oh, the medical robots. Ooh. <clears throat> That's kind of cool, too. Huh. So, also, the ride control with this unique submod is a little more in depth. Because you have more, maybe not more in depth, but just more to research. More breakthrough, more suppression bonus, advanced right gear armor, plus 5% more armor, more soft attack, and an elite right gear armor. So, there's, so there's a couple of unique things here. That's Hermes armor. So, in the meantime, <clears throat> we were fighting the foragers as we normally do in Colorado, and we finally encircled uh, the foragers. My god, has it taken it so long? And all we have are infantry right now, because we have like no industry and no manpower. So, the goal is, <clears throat> excuse me, for us to just, just kind of win here. Keep these guys in place, circle them, destroy them. All that good stuff. Over right here, we're gonna go with we're gonna recover eight just a little bit, but it'll be worth it in the end. Uh, it's a little ahead of time, but who cares? 
Oh, they're attacking over there. So right now, these are our divisions. 20 combo with, with demo teams because we get plus 15% more soft attack and hard attack and more attack overall, so I figured that'd be good to use. Good to do. Go in, and then you go in as well. I said four divisions there. Mandatory service is good. It's only plus two weekly manpower, but that's okay. Uh, compliance growth speed. Yeah, we're going to need that pretty much immediately now. And we'll go with place and pacification. That's fine for now. Honestly, I might just force it. Oh, hello. <clears throat> well, that's not good. No, we're good. Actually, go right there. Real quick, like. And, oh, yeah. You know, force defense. Do not let them move at all. You drop their organization. You've got to. So that's going to be a little painful to do this, but whatever. We'll slowly start winning here. Oh, wow, I might actually lose that division there. Elected president. God dang it. Well, we got a division encircled. And if you get beaten back, that's kind of okay, too. Territorial loyalties, which is nice. And we're going to grab We Never Die. We're going to do that. Please go ahead. You guys are surrounded, which sucks. So if I could, I would probably force the attack here. Get him back in, get him back in. Honestly, at this point, I love the construction of the research bonus, but we're going to go with the veteran pathfinders. We need more manpower immediately. Do not let up. You cannot let them get any more organization. And you have to do that, so... Because these guys have more than a supply. I just need you to hold out, ma'am. Destroy that last division. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. And we got him. Cool. Get in there. Alright, so we're going to reorganize these guys just a little bit. We've lost a lot of guys. They've lost 4,000, which is pretty good overall. You guys go there. You guys do that. <clears throat> you guys go there. You guys do something like that. And you guys do right Excuse me, guys. Can you get down here, please? We do have a cup of coffee or two to keep us nice and warm. Um, Honestly, I see some more success down here, too. Go right on ahead. Make our day. And radios will be very, very important to throw on here. We're making some special forces to come in finally. But we're missing more guns, which is pretty normal. Get back up here. And do that. So because they have up to five divisions left. Once we destroy this division, we'll unscrew these guys go up there, destroy the forgers, and call it a dead nation. That'd be very nice. Because we have no guns or manpower for this, but whatever. What you gonna do about it really? really want them to attack up there. We're looking pretty bad right now. I'll spare assault a few guys. We got plenty of demo equipment though. Pretty nice. Well, these are guys are still infantry, so. And they have really good intelligence. <coughs> Is there score territory? Yeah, research. We do have the followers here too. Support of the people. No? Oh. Our intel just sucks. Psychiatry? Nice. What's next? Tech sharing bonuses. Anything we really want through this? Knock our manpower required garrisons. Yeah. That sounds really good, actually. Required garrisons goes down. Ooh, I'm not concerned about that too much. Radio's nice. Good. We never die. We better not. And we're going to go next with what? This. Shiny new toys. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. Oh boy. And here, we're going to grab factory output, fuel boy. Everyone uses, eh, but it's only 2% more breakthroughs. only breakthrough, though. Some more output. Nice. Let's 
start go gunning for their uh, BPs. We are patient. We are very patient. Once they're done here, we're gonna start just moseying it around, attacking them, maybe. There you go. Give them a little more time to get a little more organization first. And the three divisions will die. I hope. For the love of God, I hope. Hey, we're better than the wastes. Look at that. We got him! So that took a while, but we didn't even have to attack him there. But at this point, we're going to wait and probably build ourselves up there. Um, vault 27 might be fun to actually get a vault under us, even though that we might get attacked from other people. Uh, depending on how strong they are, Overseer Maltus. Oh! Yeah, actually, neat. Okay, that's kind of cool. Can't wait to play some. Um, special forces and stuff like that, but that's all right. Oh, roll loudspeakers. That's pretty normal. I might go up there first. I'm gonna tax the ciphers, anyways. Or I'm gonna go to war. The circle Juncture Junction is probably the best one to do. But we have no manpower. But we'll go to war them soon enough. And here we are at trying to beat up the Circle Junction, which is giving us a little bit of a run for our money. But what else is new, you know? Um, we've got some light machine guns we're going to make. We're going to make some fire bases for the infantry, so they're very strong. We have 800 manpower. We've lost about 1,500, almost 2,000 versus 4,000, which is decent. And it's not great, but, you know, whatever. And in the meantime, we've got plenty of political power. And we've also cored a lot of the territory up here. And up, our next step will be going to war with Black Canyon, maybe. Maybe the Cyphers. The Legion is... Mm, we're doing all right, I guess. Wild Legs are doing okay. But uh, trying to beat up these guys has been a little... Uh, Difficult to say the least. In the meantime, we got guys here. I probably should have done this before. Um, let's do that. We'll do that. We'll do this. And we'll use the ciphers. Nice. Trying to save up some money before we do anything else here. And. Oh, well, not bad. What do we got? And tank rifles, rocket launchers. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Over here. Uh, infantry. Yeah, uh, you can grab that one. It's fine. Whatever for now. And the special forces division. Very nice. In the meantime, since we use the cypher, we're just going to go ahead and go to town and see if we can, maybe. Maybe not. We're doing well with these guys. I don't think they have any manpower left, which is really good for us. 11 divisions. No manpower. Pretty decent. Uh, we'll go over there. Take out Circle Junction itself. We're paying the boys. Oh, we're taking a deal you can't refuse, which would be nice, 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 nice. Ooh, they're doing forced defense. Oh, say it so. Look at that. Oh, it's just dropping like crazy. And we do have a few planes in the air. We have ten. But they're trying their best. Here we go. Encircle. Pretty much. Finish them all that way. Very good. Very, very nice. Ballistic fibers are good. Special forces kits. Yes, it is 2281, so it gives a lot of time we got to use to make sure we get to this point. We'll get to Salida. After that, Lanius. Um, honestly... These guys are still war with the, those guys, so we might just give some time. We might just go to war the ciphers first, perhaps. Decent amount of population over there. And we actually have some population so far to spare, so it's actually pretty good. There you go, nice. Because now we're touching the Legion. At least, Lance is part of the Legion, but still. And we got him! So overall, not bad. Uh, this is... I don't even it takes a long time to do this. It's overall not bad, so... I think I'll end it there, you know. And then next episode, we'll go to war with the ciphers and maybe Black Canyon and see how far north we can expand. So if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we'll see what else and how far else we can expand. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.